One part that I always remember, which was the lowest for us, uh, sitting in our car and, um, you know, the last three bucks in our hand, wondering what to eat, you know, that was three bucks, that's, that's all we had. Being a young entrepreneur, you tend to make mistakes. And I think one of the key mistakes that I made was not looking out to a mentor. You know, I'm always looking for the next big thing. We got involved with this group that wanted to pitch for an animated uh, series. Um, that didn't work out, although we got the grant. But the moment I knew that, you know, something was, was a little bit off because it was my name and the grant, I decided hey, this is not going to be good. Cut the deal short and give the money back. By the end of that whole little adventure, about 60,000 ringgit in debt and absolutely no income at all, no jobs coming in, nothing. Uh, it was really bad at that time. And uh, yeah, we kind of shut down for a while. We went through depression and it was like, what, six months? Uh, yeah, six months. And, uh, one day, um, I just walked to a bookstore and I started picking up books, you know, I just flip. I just can mm -hmm. let it down, you know, I, I have to buy this book. And I, I, I remember calling you and texting you what I learned and all of that. I said, you know, that's it. We need to start from scratch. And culture, culture is the key thing. We need to forge our, our company culture. We want to build a family. But sometimes, you know, in a workplace, we see each other more than we see our family. So we need to build that trust and the relationship. Yes, there is hierarchy, but at the same time, you know, we can have really close relationship with our staff and any interns or junior can just come to us and just pour out their problems even. Uh, that is what we want. We also knew that in the advertising world and the design industry, people were treated badly. You know, we've got long working hours, we got people that have no work-life balance. That was really frustrating for us. We knew that we could change things. We knew what was wrong with the industry and we wanted to change things. She's like a stickler for time, you know. She's very organized, very systematic, and I'm the big picture guy. So we kind of combined these two things and said, OK, let's build a company that's really, really worth fighting for. And that's what we did. Think about the cliched phrase, you know, a jack of all trades is a master of none. I don't really subscribe to that. It was a case of adding feathers to my cap and every single feather or every single thing that I put my hands to, I wanted to do it to the best of my ability.